Shabbat Shalom Mishpocha. Welcome to another edition of the Brit Kadesha Connections. This is Rabbi Yehuda coming at you with Torah portion or Parasha number 27, which is entitled Tazria, which means delivery. And we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. And it says, When he, Yeshua, Jesus, was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Yeshua put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Yeshua said unto him, See that thou tell no man, but go thy way and show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. So the way that this passage in the Brit Kadesha, the Renewed Covenant, New Testament, links in with our Torah and Half-Torah portion, is you recall the Torah portion deals with Moses, and having to deal with his sister Miriam regarding uh, the leprosy that she uh, contracted or brought upon herself by the sin of Lashon Hara, the evil tongue, gossip, slander, etc. And uh, it connects with our Haftor portion in regards to the prophet Elisha and having to deal with Naaman and his leprosy. So notice that when uh, this leper was healed by Yeshua the Messiah, Yeshua didn't say, Congratulations, former leper! You've just been healed by the Messiah. Go now and enjoy life. See ya. No, he didn't say that. Verse 4 says, See that thou tell no man, but go thy way and show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. So, basically, what is he telling this former leper to do here? He's telling him to do what the Torah has already commanded him to do. Because in Leviticus chapter 13, verse 49... In 14 verse 2 it says, And if the plague be greenish or reddish in the garment or in the skin, either in the wrap or the wart, or in any of anything of skin, it is a plague of leprosy, the arets, and shall be shown unto the priest. So when somebody contracts leprosy, they've got to go and show themselves to the priest to be diagnosed and confirmed that it, that's exactly what it is. It's leprosy, not some sort of you know, you know, minor skin irritation. And then it also says, um, let's see, and it also says, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought unto the priest. So when a leper believes that he's been healed and there's no more skin affliction on him, he has to show himself to the priest to confirm that he's been healed. And once he's been healed, there's uh, prescribed sacrifices that he has to offer. So, um, you know, Yeshua didn't say, now, when you go to the priest, tell him that Yeshua the Messiah sent you. No, he didn't say that. He said, see that they'll tell no man, but go thy way and show thyself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded. In other words, the sacrifices, etc., for a testimony unto them. Uh, now, to be cleansed of leprosy, assuming it was as Jewish tradition states, that leprosy is a physical manifestation of the sin of evil tongue, Lashon Hara, gossip, slander, etc., um, this must be the way this man co uh, contracted his leprosy. Because he says in verse uh, 2, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. So that is to say, he learned his lesson in regards to Lashon Hara, the evil tongue. He, he realizes his sin. He realizes that this leprosy is a manifestation of that sin. And he's already become repentant in his heart. And so he comes to Yeshua and says that. And then Yeshua responds, I will be thou clean. He can see, uh, Yeshua can see that this leper is repentant. He's repentant of heart, and he's worthy of uh, being healed and cleansed of leprosy because he's repentant of this sin of Lashon Hara. And uh, so in other words, by Yeshua saying, I will be thou clean, in other words, Yeshua says, I accept your repentance. I applaud your rep repentance. Baruch Hashem for your repentance. I'm going to heal you as you requested. And so he's healed, and then Yeshua says, you know, do what the Torah says. First of all, don't tell anybody I did this for you. You know, don't you know, don't let this get back to me, be traced back to me. He said, but just just do what Mo Moses required you to do, what Moses told you to do in the Torah. Go to the priest, show show yourself, let them confirm that you're clean, and then offer the prescri the prescribed sacrifices that uh, Moses uh, told you to within the Torah. Uh, so anyway, this is the Brit Kadesha connection for this week. Thank you for watching. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot